Let's Play presents the 25 upcoming Switch games for 2019, 2020, and beyond. Super Mario Maker 2. We just can't get enough of the Mario games, and that rings true especially for the beloved Mario Maker series. Getting its second installment on the Nintendo Switch, return to the plumbers, iconic adventures and stages made from your imaginations, or the happy creators around the world. In this sequel, not only does it have more Mario levels to build, players can also create fresh three-dimensional stages along with a classic 2D. Pre-order the game and you'll get a fancy new stylus just to go along with it to level up the building excitement. Time to let your imagination run wild. It comes out on June 28th. Wolfenstein Youngblood Id Software's Nazi-killing first-person shooter is also coming out to the Switch. Their latest title may not be the next in the main series after recent new Colossus, but Youngblood holds a lot of promise. Featuring BJ Blazkowicz's two twin daughters in the alternate 80s Paris, Youngblood brings co-op shooting back to the fore. It introduces two characters, Soph and Jess, each with their individual personalities and skills. While the cosmetic microtransactions might be slightly worrying, sharing the co-op experience is made better with the Switch's flexibility. It comes out this 26th of July. Fire Emblem Three Houses Nintendo and Intelligent Systems is proud to unveil their first Fire Emblem title on the Switch. What with the console's technological feats and improvements, the 16th entry to the iconic series brings us a threefold narrative. In Three Houses, we get to roam around the world of Fodlan along with the Black Eagles, Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. Containing three times the stories, it might just be Fire Emblem's biggest title yet with special family crests, battalions to hire, soldiers to lead, and brand new weapon types. Playing as a professor, you'll get to share your expertise to your students, teach them the ways of the battle, and maybe <laughs> date them, eventually, when it's less creepy. There's a lot of hesitation and excitement for this latest game, and we'll find out for ourselves when it comes out on July 26, 2019. Astral Chain Platinum Games takes you to a futuristic world overrun by dangerous alien creatures. Humanity's last chance for survival are high-tech cops that can harness the power of the Legion. Take control of two characters at once in a stylish and seamless hack-and-slash action adventure. A team effort between Takahisa Tora, the designer of Nier Automata, and Hideki Kamiya, the man behind Bayonetta and Devil May Cry. Expect a solid entry to this brand new original work from Platinum Games. This Nintendo Switch exclusive is coming out this 30th of August. Spyro Reignited Trilogy Already released on the PS4 and Xbox One last year, Spyro is also gunning to reignite his tail on the Switch. A classic title from the PlayStation's heyday, this version is a collection of remasters of the first three games of the entire series. Rated positively on both PS4 and Xbox One, that bodes very well for their release on the hybrid console too. Dive into a renewed platforming experience with a purple dragon and roam around his gorgeous and familiar hub world. Retaining the magic of the original Spyro hits, players will get treated to the game's meticulously designed soundtracks and environments. This PlayStation Classic is making its way to the Switch on September 3rd. Daemon X Machina We might already have a litany of Gundam titles, but the world could always use more mech games. This upcoming shooter from Marvelous might be your best bet on the Switch. The details of their dystopian future of mighty metal on metal may be stunning. The breadth of their customizations is ultimately what draws us in. Daemon X Machina not only lets you personalize mechs to your heart's content, but from the style down to its weaponry, you can even swap them out in real time by obtaining parts from your fallen enemies. Loot, yay! Let's be real, their over-the-top story might not seem to make sense and its animations may not be the smoothest, but hopefully they will iron themselves out when it releases on September 13th, 2019. 
The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Whether or not you played the original 1993 Game Boy title of the same name, Nintendo's making sure you get a brand new experience. Revamping a beloved Legend of Zelda classic, Link's Awakening sheds off its signature pixels in favor of 3D, almost toy-like makeover. It's the 3 fourth RPG perspective like you've never seen it before. Set out on your adventure as the young Link and get to see the journey you took two decades ago in a brand new light. Link's Awakening might not be a new game, it might just help tide us through until Breath of the Wild sequel. Bringing in new fans to the island adventure, it is set to release this September 20th, 2019. Dead by Daylight Behavior Interactive's horror multiplayer game is ready for more spooks and cheap thrills to the Nintendo Switch. To celebrate their third anniversary, Dead by Daylight introduces Icon from Halloween and a returning character, Ghostface, to the roster. The Switch release has no huge changes to the game. Gameplay still revolves around a terrifying cat and mouse chase between the killer and the survivors. Utilize the game's environment and take advantage of the precarious position you put yourselves into. It's killed or be killed. It comes out this 24th of September. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition Another grand adventure awaits you in this definitive version of Square Enix's genre-defining RPG series. 11S features the same content of the original but with newly added character-specific stories, new music, more side quests, and the ability to alternate between HD and its retro-inspired 16-bit visuals. Switch users will be delighted to see and explore a massive and gorgeous world. Its bonus character stories take you back to the past as you try Travel to the past Dragon Quest worlds from 1 to 10. It's coming out this 27th of September. Pokemon Sword and Shield. This one's a bit of a toughie. You know, as much as we love that there's a brand new Pokemon game on the Switch, there's a lot of hitches to this latest installment. The least of which being its graphics and animations. Set in a world with living and breathing Pokemon, some of them seem to be less alive than others. And yes, we do mean those weird wingle sharp fly patterns. The removal of the National Pokedex also seems to be a sore spot for fans. This means that us, rising trainers, won't be able to exactly complete our Pokedex. Looking like they're cutting a lot of corners, it's not the most perfect beginning for the Pokemon series on Nintendo's groundbreaking hybrid console. But for lifelong fans, a new Pokemon game is still a new Pokemon game. And we're all hoping these problems get ironed out in time. It's currently set to release on November 15, 2019. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 Your two favorite video game superstars are back with their whole entourage in this latest installment of the iconic crossover party game. While their noticeable absence in last year's Olympics were a little worrying, it gave the competing duo and their friends enough time to prepare for the intense competition. Held in their native, Japan, it was even more important for them to prepare for their massive home court return. Featuring four new events, Tokyo 2020 is your opportunity to raise your skills in the cool fields of karate, sport climbing, surfing, and skateboarding. All that, plus up to 20 more sports events, makes up for a flurry of activity that will definitely get your heart pumping. Go online and show off your mastery against other players all around the globe. Releasing exclusively for the Switch, it's set to release sometime this November. New Super Lucky's Tale Time to get your head out of the VR clouds and get your hands working for the Switch arrival of Microsoft's Lucky Fox. Coming out first on the Oculus Rift and then as an Xbox One launch title, this new Super Lucky's Tale expands on the 3D platforming of its predecessors. Described as a complete reimagining of the game, you can look forward to new cutscenes and of course a new camera control system. While it's not exactly the most well-received Microsoft exclusive, this entrance to the Switch might win it a few more hearts, especially with its more controller-friendly format. Step into the shoes of Lucky and help him and his sister protect the Book of Ages from Jinx's evil antics. It's coming out this fall. Resident Evil 5 Another unexpected port to the Switch is Capcom's beloved zombie series. 
Chris Redfield and the gang ready themselves to stop bioterrorism with a rocket launcher and a boulder. Resident Evil 5 and 6 introduces Switch owners to the zombie game that changed it all. Both games are packed with huge content and huge replay value. Team up with a friend and use the Switch's handy Joy-Cons to go on a tag team undead killing spree. It's coming out sometime this fall. Gods and Monsters From the same creators that brought us the majestic Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Ubisoft Quebec expands on the mythologies of the antiquity with this new adventure game. Less of the brash complexity of Assassin's Creed, Gods and Monsters puts on a cartoon aesthetic, making it seem more like a casual, kid-friendly experience. We know some myths are a little less friendly though, so it will be interesting to see their take on those. As it is, Gods and Monsters feels like a mix between AC Saga and Nintendo's Breath of the Wild. In other words, it's a perfect addition to the roster. It's set to release on February 25th, 2020. Animal Crossing New Horizons We've been waiting for Animal Crossing series to finally make their jump to the Nintendo Switch, and it looks like it's finally happening! With a confirmed New Horizons subtitle, Animal Crossing welcomes a host of changes to the quaint neighborhood simulation game. For one, it won't be as quaint anymore. The new title premise revolves around charting a new life from scratch on a faraway desert island, an ultra-exclusive getaway thanks to Nook Inc. Taking cues from their previous game, Pocket Camp, New Horizons basically feels like a weirdly happy-looking castaway with other neighbors and a phone signal to boot. Craft your very own island experience by setting up camp, collecting scraps from the environment, and colonizing the land for Tom Nook's future clients. Also, paths. That's important. Hit by a delay, though, we'll have to wait a few more months until its release on March 20th, 2020. Dauntless Phoenix Lab's own take on the action-adventure game is somewhat reminiscent of the good old Monster Hunter games from Capcom. Gather your friends and take on ferocious beasts in the shattered eye. Select from its multitude of unique weapons that all depend on your playstyle. Much like Monster Hunter and even Warframe, it's grindy. Expect yourself to be killing the same monster again and again and again until you get that precious monster part. Dauntless's promising feature is that it's free and it's still on the process of major improvements. It's slated for a 2019 release. Ukulele and the Impossible Lair Just after celebrating Banjo-Kazooie's entrance into the Super Smash Bros. arena, they got their own celebration going for one of their newer icons, giving us back the wonderful and charming platforming activities with the release of Ukulele, the adorable pair comes back for a different kind of fun in this upcoming spin-off title. From their super liberating jaunts in the third dimension, Impossible Lair returns us to the traditional two-dimension side-scrolling platformer. In the game, the Impossible Lair is an actual place where everyone is welcome to try out from the very beginning. Without beasts that will help around in the impossible journey though, it might be tough. So jump around in their many stages, solve puzzles in the 3D overworld, and enjoy their charming blend of Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario World gameplay. It's set to release sometime this year. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition Coming off as a huge surprise during their presentation, CDPR manages to team up with Nintendo to port one of the greatest games known to man into the Nintendo Switch. Dubbed as The Switcher, this is the complete edition of The Witcher 3 title with all the two massive DLCs. To adapt to The Switch's hardware limitations, the game will run at 540p in handheld mode while 720p dynamic resolution when docked. This was a huge huge step for Nintendo, despite its downgrades. But hey, nonetheless, it's a first step for Switch users to experience the masterpiece that is The Witcher. It comes out sometime this 2019. Luigi's Mansion 3 It's about time the second Mario Brother gets some love. This is the third installment to the spooky and critically acclaimed series of Luigi's Misadventures. Powered with the Switch's improved hardware and functionality, expect a seamless and gorgeous puzzle-solving journey in co-op or even alone. Luigi's new partner, Guigi, will help players slip through bars easily. In addition, the latest gameplay trailer introduces new mechanics such as slam, suction shot, and burst. Not to mention, our our boy finally has a brand new vacuum that can fire plungers and has a built-in jet propulsion system. It comes out later this year. 
Empire of Sin. There's smoke, there's bullets, and then there's music. And not necessarily in that order. The latest game from Paradox Interactive and Romero Games takes us back in time and into the Prohibition era Chicago of the 1920s. More than just another mafia shooter, Empire of Sin is a strategy RPG. Choose from their 14 different characters and play the role of an up and coming empresario in the world of crime. Not only does it look stunning, the gameplay also seems promising. With a combat system a la XCOM, a free row map for interacting with people, and world scale map that details the varying competition, each player will get to decide exactly how they want to run their business. Whether it's through charm or sheer strength, whichever you pick, it'll all be with an empire of sins living and breathing Chicago. The mafia management game you've been waiting for, it's coming out spring 2020. No More Heroes 3 After numerous rumors about delays and cancellations, Grasshopper Manufacturer's cult classic marks the return of the iconic Travis touchdown. Its initial trailer dropped during Nintendo's E3 Direct, and it showcased a handful of new and weird energy from the previous titles. Now with his power armor on, Travis continues to aspire to become the best assassin in the world. From the looks of it, expect robotic mannequins as enemies. It's coming to the Switch this 2020. Trials of Mana Aside from Final Fantasy VII Remake, one of the major surprises of Square Enix's presentation was the return of the fan-favorite JRPG. A fresh new look to the third entry of the Mana series, this remake is made for old and new players. Players will be delighted to know that they will be returning to the magical land filled with darkness, light, and a huge mystical tree. The changes are obvious, and players can experience a different kind of Trials of Mana, but with the same story. It comes out sometime this 2020. We didn't talk about it earlier, but the, the mm. eyes of this uh, character are at weak point. Ah, so this man. Tada, I know, me, cara, it's a little beam to put it to the day, but I'll show you some of that. Spiritfarer Spiritfarer might have been a fish out of water in the other console showcases, it definitely does feel at home on the Switch's healthy lineup of retro games and third-party indies. A title from Thunder Lotus Games, the studio awes and impresses with the simplicity of their 2D art style. The whole world is oozing with charm. Sail around in a fable-like fantasy world, build, explore, and gather resources for your journey. What's most striking about this, though, is its seeming exploration of loss. Claiming to teach players how to say goodbye, we're ready for the waterworks that are coming once it releases sometime in 2020. Hollow Knight Silk Song, the sequel to the award-winning action-adventure Metroidvania game from Team Cherry, is taking you once again into a magical quest in a whole new kingdom ruled by Silk and Song. For the first time in the series, play as Hornet, the princess protector of Hollowness and a major character from the original game. Battle new and familiar foes as you utilize her unique and lethal acrobatic abilities. Craft powerful tools to outsmart challenging boss fights and enemies. No release date just yet, but it's coming out to the okay, Switch very, very soon. Who's Bellhead? <laughs> yeah, Bellhead, uh, he has a hard head, so we're gonna have to go for his undercarriage, if you will. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. E3's Nintendo Direct had one last surprise, and it was something we never knew coming. Link and Zelda's adventure to a post-apocalyptic Hyrule gets darker than ever with its eerie trailer. The dynamic duo enters a strange catacomb in search of what looks to be Ganon's sealed corpse. Not much details were unveiled during the game so far, but it's currently in development. Fans are quick to speculate some of the mysteries and easter eggs surrounding the trailer, even putting it on reverse to check some audio and video changes. No release date just yet. Hey guys, so that's all we have for today. But if you love this video, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe it to become a certified What's Player. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time.